All right, welcome to the Rava Show. We are here at Click Connect. It's day one, and I'm super excited to be with Charles, who's the CEO at Reworld. Charles, welcome to the Rava Show. It's your debut. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be here. So excited to chat with you. I know there were a few announcements today at the keynote uh, about Reworld and uh, Click Partnership. So I'm excited to chat about that. Can you tell us a little bit about Reworld and also what the partnership looks like with Click? Sure. So ReWorld is a leader in sustainable waste solutions, and everybody does the reduce, reuse, recycle, but after that there's still waste. So we want to help companies waste better, and in doing that, we bring in Recover. So the other products come out of the waste, you'd be surprised. Even out of the remaining garbage after recycling, we pull enough metal out to build five Golden Gate bridges a year. And wow. our technologies offset 41 million metric tons of greenhouse gases every year, which is about the same as taking nine million automobiles off the road for one year. So we really go to great lengths. And also we do massive efforts in recovering wastewater. So it's- It's, it's huge? Yeah, it's, it's a huge thing. We're into alternative energy fuels for cement kilns, and we've been growing like gangbusters to really help companies waste better. That's fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, those are big numbers that I see in uh, how you all are helping the environment out there. So thanks for sharing that. I'm kind of also curious because I saw uh, you all have acquired a lot of companies and the growth is phenomenal. Uh, can you share a little bit about the data challenges that you all have seen and uh, that has also been a key um, you know, for you all to acquire a lot of companies. Yes, one of the big challenges when we acquire a lot of companies is anybody who's in that mode is doing it very quickly. And that doesn't leave you a lot of time to fully integrate all the technologies, the ERPs, the financial systems, the operating systems. It just becomes a real quagmire of data. What we've done is we've created a central re-world data model upon which all of these things can be mapped. Yep. And in doing so, we've been able to incorporate them into our ReWorld Data Hub to drive business intelligence while we more slowly work on truly integrating ERPs and collapsing. Yep, okay, that's uh, pretty cool that you kind of mentioned about that. Uh, I have like a follow-up question to that as well. When you're kind of you know, talking about um, systems and plants, uh, how have you managed the variety of systems, plant locations, and other you know, information sources to create a coherent data strategy? Because that is kind of also plays a very important role, right? Yes, one of the most important things we do is, as a, a core of our data strategy is to actually catalog what all the assets are. We use the Talent Data Catalog, the Click Talent yep. Data Catalog, and we bring in every data asset we have whether it be operational systems, whether it be databases, including even the business intelligence right. tools. So we go from eyes on glass back to fingers on keyboard with the lineage, including our integration fabric, and that way we can know where everything is going. But the core is, even before they wind up being integrated, we catalog them so we know what we are working with from the beginning. That's fantastic. Uh, and uh, you know, just on the partnership itself, uh, how has, you know, Click and Talent supported this evolution? Can you share a little bit of that journey too? Well, it's it's really an interesting journey. I, I'm a repeat customer of Talent before Click bought them. Right. And again, bought them when we got to ReWorld. And the partnership is more, more about the people than the technology. They have great so technology, true. but everybody's got something going on all the time. Yeah. It's really about the support. When they came in, they didn't try to sell us more than we needed to get started because I laid out the vision of the data strategy. Here's where we're going, but I need enough to get started and sell the vision internally to our leadership at a cost-effective point. So we brought in just what we needed and we grew dramatically from there because the results spoke for themselves and the funding went with it. Yeah, and that's very important in terms of when you kind of, you know, you like you mentioned a very good point about people and then comes the technology and when you kind of have that comfort zone, but at the same time, the right tool that can actually help you grow uh, is matter uh, is what matters the most, right? Absolutely, absolutely, and they, they helped us identify what were the right tools to get started with. Nice, that's fantastic, Charles. Uh, also, another quick question around implementation. So what has the implementation of this strategy allowed Revolt to do better from a process point of view? Can you share a little bit about that? It's been allowed us to do a lot better from a process point of view. From a public trust perspective, 
we've been able to share our emissions data because that's a big concern that people have. And we're able to show we're so far below government thresholds. We are, and we put it out on our public websites. If you go, you'll see right. facility by facility. In addition to that, it's allowed us to more rapidly identify commercial opportunities. Yep. Uh, we've really gotten into focusing on our customer growth. Yep. So we have more, uh, more growth within the existing customer base for cross-sell, upsell, but also finding new opportunities. We have facilities all across North America. Nice. And we need to be able to understand quickly if there's a problem in one facility, how do we reroute the Very streams important. to the other facilities? Yeah. So having the data coming in through a central fabric and understanding the interplays of all the different types of data is going to let us get to that point with AI where AI can handle those types of automations and the reroutings and the optimization of the supply chain. Love it. Um, we've kind of already used the word AI now, so I have to ask a question around that as well. So. Has it that also opened up opportunities for AI adoption much more? Are you seeing AI also taking a front seat uh, going forward, maybe in the next three to five years? What do you think about that? Yes, actually, we at first AI was more of a push. We knew it was going to be there. People weren't quite sure you know, what its role was to be and what it could be capable of. So we did some of the basic stuff. We had developed our own AI entity for ReWorld and have doing generative AI types things, some analyses, things like right. that. But recently we were brought by one of our, our commercial team a, a use case saying, I need my salespeople to be more productive. And we're building out an agentic framework that basically is a sales assistant to them to do all the pre-research, all the pre-qualification, and right. make recommendations as to which products and services we can offer and what other types of customers who are similar to them are buying so that we can make our sales team even more effective. Love it, uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, Charles, one more quick question that I have for you is around the conference. So we are here at Click Connect. Uh, I can see the vibe here, the, the, you know, the professionals coming here, the community coming together, the networking, it's exceptional and phenomenal, we love it. Um, uh, what do you think about Click Connect and uh, what's the experience been? The experience is fantastic. I was here last year as well. Nice. And I think the thing is really about the people. I, I really love seeing people in person, getting a lot of new ideas. Exactly. And I think the thing I get most out of it is all the new products and the roadmaps coming ahead because then my head really starts to churn of, hey, I may not have to build this myself anymore. I can actually, there's services to do this. Right. And the announcement with AWS today is great. I, po I poked over to Sean, I said, we're on the right cloud. Because <laughs> we're already there, so yeah. we're excited. Love it, uh, this is great. One last question for you, Charles, sure. uh, is if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about ReWorld, where can they follow you and also ReWorld? I'm, they can find me on LinkedIn. Awesome. And also, they can, I'm emailed at clink at rewordwaste.com. So you know where to find Charles. Charles, such a pleasure chatting with you and thanks for sharing all the great insights It's always. Thank you. Great to get a perspective from a leader like you who's been in the space for years and have, uh, you know, I've been working uh, relentlessly to make the data and AI community better. Thank you. Thank you so much, it's been thanks. a pleasure. Thanks, Charles. Thanks everyone for joining us today.